I'm here at London Real Skin today. My name's Martin Wade. I'm a consultant dermatologist and also the medical director of London Real Skin. Today, we're going to talk about how iPixel can help with acne scarring treatment. Here at London Real Skin, we have iPixel, which is a laser that resurfaces the skin in a fractional way. We use it a lot for acne scarring. There's different ways that we use the laser. Uh, we can concentrate uh, delivering energy to uh, more severe areas of scarring, or we can do a full face resurfacing treatment, which helps blending all the different uh, uh, aspects of the acne scarring with the normal skin. The iPixel laser is a treatment that we use for acne scarring. Uh, there is some downtime associated with this uh, laser, so it is one of, more, one of our more aggressive treatments. Uh, it's a, a pain-free treatment though because we use topical anaesthetic to, to numb the skin. The actual procedure, no one feels, and then afterwards the skin can feel a little bit tight because we have delivered a lot of energy into the skin. Basically what the laser is doing is it's drilling uh, a lot of very small holes into the skin. It's delivering energy uh, via light and the chromophore, or the thing that absorbs that energy in the skin, is water. So as I said, we're drilling tiny holes into the skin and this then uh, gives us a resurfacing uh, feature. Uh, what we find is stimulating the skin in this way uh, creates a wound healing response and uh, produces skin which is more radiant, a, a better um, appearance, um, better tone to the skin after the treatment. With uh, iPixel treatment, we can be quite light with the treatment or we can be more aggressive with the treatment depending on what the patient wants or what we think the, the needs are or what we're actually treating, the depth of acne scarring that we might be treating. And so the downtime does relate slightly to how aggressive the treatments are. At the lighter end of the scale, uh, downtime might be three days before you really want to be doing too much socially. Um, but with more aggressive treatments, that can be up to a week of, of wanting to avoid uh, social functions. After day one, you can apply makeup and that's a really good camouflage technique to, to help you get about your daily life. Because the chromophore for the iPixel is water, this is one of our colorblind treatments as we call it, because it means we can do this on any color skin uh, without the concerns of, of damaging the pigmentation in the skin. For the darker skin types though, we do sometimes pre-treat to reduce or avoid any post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Along with the fact that the iPixel is colorblind, it is something that we can also do if someone has a tan. And this is different to a lot of the other lasers where we say to people that you have to make sure the skin's back to the baseline color. But because uh, we're not directly targeting the pigment in the skin, we can do this on, on tanned skin. So it can be something that can be done over someone that's quite safely. 